She went inside her SUV. Uh, I guess we should come back later. Okay, so I just had to present her her own camera. Great. Lovely. Fantastic. Actually, hold on. Let's check out the rental shop. No, okay. So now I probably have to get Gumshoe. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, but better off for worse. I got the feeling we're in for some bad news. So, what's the word? Hell's the meeting. I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. It's true. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edwards, it's human like you and me. Still, I get a feeling that if he's done something wrong, he wouldn't be hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial starting tomorrow is scheduled. I see. Uh, uh, hey, in the end, oh, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go tell anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. It. Uh, do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he got some reason why he doesn't. Why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. So, do you know anything about the victim yet? No. Ugh, still get idea. His voice is killing my throat. Ugh. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edwards so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship for us two. We trust each other. That's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edwards always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust that he... he uh, We've got to earn that trust he places in on us. I see. Mr. Edwards is a man you can trust. <clears throat> and you have my word on that. I need to stop doing the voice. <coughs> I'm going to get myself hurt and sick at this rate. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Uh, yeah, I got a copy for you. Time of death, sometime on the 24th or the 25th. One bullet shot to the heart. And you're to blame. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Hmm. That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Uh, sorry, I'm going a blank right now. <laughs> I thought you might, but I also thought it might be worth something. All right. Nope. Okay, back to the lake. Uh, I probably have to go for the photo. Yeah. Hey, y'all! Lada! Wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo? My atomic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. Wait. See, see, see? He's shooting him with a pistol. Uh, it looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But, you know, seeing these photos remind me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should go tell the cops? 
I reckon so. She's the witness. We need. We can't. I reckon so. What's that? Now, don't you all try to mock my accent? I'm a sensitive lady, and so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later! W wait Lada! What? Can't you see I'm kind of busy? Tell us. Tell us what you saw, too, please! Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I've seen it eat the south side of a nose bound skunk and tell you. Lada? Don't let you skip. Don't. Don't let it get you skipping than a bunch of friends today. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was it the other way around? No matter. I'm gone. Hey. Maybe they'll let me do some testifying hot damn. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. Question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. So we got the photo. Looks like the police have given up their investigation. Hey! Hey! Ah! Nick! I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick! Nick? You know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick? Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for days, you know, my girl. Kionse? Kionse? Deserve the best. Kionse? Not as a model, I hope. Uh, Kionse is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear the costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know. She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your, not my, what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, my FA. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? <laughs> well, Nick. Must be tough. Working 9 to 5 having to take care of the little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh? Ha, <laughs> sounds great. Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. So... Um, tell me about the samurai dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? Uh, I mean, they kind of look gold-shaped. Well, originally they were gore dogs, you know, like gore dogs? Ouch. The samurai thing was Kianze's idea. Oh, uh, she's my woman, you know. Uh, she was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Hmm. Something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and uh, guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. Was that... Oh, it's all that big news. The big news? Yeah, Gordy! G Gordy? Uh, what does Gordy have to do with this? So what is Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster, Gordy. A, a, a monster? Yeah! Check it out! This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo! Wow! Really real! Nick, a monster! A real monster! Uh, yeah. Probably just a log or something, right? Hey, the crowd here from the person who took the photo. Hmm. What's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it! Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry? Can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem! That'll be one million dollars! Well, one million?! Grow up, Larry. 
So, Larry, there was a murder here last night, and since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve! He was with Keontae, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Ooh. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. Uh, no, it's just... Keontae's not in town right now. She, she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model, I knew it. Well, anyways, there was a motor out here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh! Neat! The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Uh, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth! Old Edgy? Yeah. He's a murder suspect. W whoa! Murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course! Eddie was in the same class as us in grade school. What? So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Eddie Pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edwards is a prosecuting attorney. What? Eddie's got a proboscis on his knee? No, no! He's a prosecuting attorney! That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer! Huh? Ugh, go figure. They always used to talk about defending the weak who are unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about a man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. Oh, I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Hmm. What's this? You know my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Naturally, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Well... I know the good talk. Still nothing over here. Not a gumshoe in sight. The look of a gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an opponent witness turned up. I'll be in there for a while. What a heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I figured. What is it? Oh! Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hmm. Hey! I, I remember now! This guy! He's a lawyer that... He's a lawyer that was at the office Maya worked at. I met him once when I was there hanging out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right! That guy! That was the last thing I expected to come up. Maybe we should go talk to him. For old time's sake. I oh, still never got his painting back. Oh, that's a shame. Ah, <coughs> uh, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! Uh -huh. Your oh, me is something, are you not? I was our understudy, yes, Phoenix, right? Aha! Uh -huh. uh, and you're a Mia. Something too, are you not? A little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. Ah, oh, it takes me back. I cannot do voices. I cannot do his voice the way I was doing it. Gumshoe destroyed me. Ah, oh, the day that my use. Like the scent of a fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Gosberg, sir. Hmm? Ah, oh, uh, yes. I beg your pardon, of course. You came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? Why is the wall there a different color? A big painting was hanging there until recently. Huh? What happened to it? Uh, 
Well, he gave it to someone. I bet he gave it to some romantic interest. Love bloom the tunnel, Nick. Yeah. So... Mr. Cosper, whatever happened to that painting? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't think I shall ever be coming back home to this office. Can't exactly claim it as stolen. Suppose it is my just desserts. No bitter desserts. So, on to a serious issue. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I, uh, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Because he hadn't heard anything. Hmm. Strange. It feels as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ha! Ah! Do you remember? He's a lawyer here in my office! There's Hammond! Robert Hammond! Mr. Hammond? Hammond? I'm gonna say Hammond. You say this man? This is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? Oh, yeah. So who is this Hammond guy, anyways? Mr. Hammond? Who was the defense attorney in that case? That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you'll remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used the spirit medium. <gasps> Wait! He don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay. Your mother contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DLC, the DL6, not DLC, incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. It never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Is the fair use of house to talk to the spirit of uh, the late victim? A testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right? Mr. Gosberg? Uh, yes, yes, great. Thank you. No, please, don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does this case have to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait! This is a photograph of my mother. Misty Face photo. Old photo from the DL6 incident. Exhibit A is on the back. Thank you. Thank you, Gosberg. What's this? I was hoping you got my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. I guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Oh. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought I was somewhere else. Hmm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Edgeworth. It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it. I'm impressed, right? You're always single-minded in your walk, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you were just weren't up to the job. I wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, 
Do you still think it would be better for me to stay away? I don't know. However, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask me whatever you like, and I'll answer you to the best of my abilities. <sighs> the DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are... foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. Pretty clear, he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gold Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now... This. About to end? The L6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Uh, Nick, what does that mean? When a case statute of, limit of limitations runs out, legally the case never happens. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off in innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view, and nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. Uh, I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. So... Your father... So... Was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know! You want us to defend you! Yes. Will you? Of course we will! <sighs> Who could have guessed the day would come? Not me. My chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. <sighs> Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Hmm. My letter of request. Please give it to the detective, don't you? Well, I guess we should... What's that? Oh, it's Craig! Nick! It's the big one! Wah! Uh, it's coming down. Oh, that was scary. Huh? Where'd Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a ball shivering. Uh, I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but calling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Guess Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Right. You have to give Edwards his letter request to Detective Gumshoe. He hasn't moved an inch since we came in. He hasn't moved an inch after that earthquake? Amazing! Okay, well, Gumshoe. You... Not Gosberg. <laughs> no offense, but I didn't mean to come to you. What's going on here? Yeet! What's wrong, Detective? Twin Lady comes in here just a while ago, so she came to talk to you all. Talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. White had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. What are you going around finding more witnesses? Gotta give Mr. Edwards the death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, Try to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. 
Uh, I think you might be happy to know. Don like Edwards is gonna ask the state to assign a public defender. I'm well, about to file the paperwork. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to... You have to make him let you defend him, please! I know you're the only one who can do it, pal! You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth! I'm afraid tomorrow's gonna be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. I got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And I got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I say, that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Maya used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. So, what did Miss Hart say? She said she saw Edwards fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who's shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said, I'll drop the quality of might, but should let us see who's who. She can do that? Okay, there's gonna be an enlarged photograph that shows Edwards in the act. Great, just great. In any case, she's gonna be the one to testify tomorrow. Huh, what happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? Uh, things for later on, anyways. Yeah, I'm sure I got something for ya. Hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll whip them out and start a new one for ya. Thanks, detective. Well, well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal! Hey! You guys felt that it was quick a little while back? I was worried. Worried? You're fine. I lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. That's, uh... I wasn't worried about you two. I worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty, pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check up on him. You two go eat and get your, get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later! Hmm. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edwards and earthquakes. Huh. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when I was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to him. To be continued. Oh, this was a long one. Taking me about an hour. Woof! At least the next one will be the trial.